This video tutorial try to explain how to find out pair simple t-test and how to analyze the result. First, I'm going to explain what is exactly pair simple t-test and what is the functions of pair simple t-test. In this case, pair simple t-test is used to compare the mean score of two variables in one group. This task is done to examine one sample that have a treatment, so we can compare before and after treatment. I expect that the explanation is clear enough, and here I have an example how to find out pair sample t -test. I have two kind of score here, pre-test and post-test, while students didn't get any treatment in pre-test, and they have a treatment, think per share strategy and teaching and learning process, then they got post-test. Okay, first, you block the score. You copy the score. And you can open your SPSS 16 or other versions. In your SPSS, choose Paste. Now your data has been moved to your SPSS and you may continue for the rest of the data. Still same, you block the data, then copy and open your SPSS then paste again now you have two columns pretest and posttest and to make it clear you may rename the variables in the variable view by double click then type the names pretest you don't have to give any space or symbol. It also same with the second variables. You may rename with post as. You may also change the decimal into zero. Go back to data view and make sure that your variables name have been changed into pretest and post as, because it's used to be easier for the next step. To find out per sample t-test value, you choose Analyze in the upper taskbar, then Compare Means, and choose per sample t-test. And you will see this view screen. You have to move pretest and post-test variables in the pair variable box. Click the variables and this arrow. You have to do those steps twice for pretest and posttest variable. After all variables have been moved to pair variables, then click options. Now you got another view screen like this and make sure that the confidence interval is 95%. Then click continue. You will go back to this view screen and everything is complete, then you may click OK. Here you got the result of pure simple tetas. And now we analyze those three tables. What you have to do first is you have to make hypothesis. There are alternative hypothesis and null hypothesis. For alternative hypothesis, you may say that there is difference of mean score between pretest and posttest of the students, which means there is influence of using think per share strategy in teaching and learning process. And the null hypothesis is the opposite of the alternative hypothesis. You may say in null hypothesis that there is not any difference of mean score between pretest and posttest of students which means that there is not any influence of using think-per-share strategy in teaching and learning process. 
after you define those hypotheses, we go back to the result. In the first table, you can see that the mean score of students pre-test is lower than the mean score of students post-test. The mean score of pre-test is 62.65 something, but the mean score of post-test is 78.59 something. Here the range of post-test is lower than pre-test. You may see in standard error means value of post us is only 1.25 something. In case there is difference mean score between pretest and post us, we can see that there is improving mean score from pretest up to post us. Now we're going to analyze the second table. You can see the correlation value is 0 0.429 with 32 sample and the significant value is 0 0.014. We focus on the significant value which is 0 0.014 is less than alpha in which 0 0.05. It means there is a correlation between variables of pretest and post-test. Now pay attention to the third table. You see the significant two tail value is 0 0.000, which means it is less than 0 0.05. If the significant two tail value is less than 0 0.05, you can conclude that Null hypothesis is rejected and alternative hypothesis is accepted. But if significant two tail value is more than 0.05, you can conclude that null hypothesis is accepted and alternative hypothesis is rejected. Now we go back to the result. Here the significant two tail value in the third table is less than 0.05 which means the null hypothesis is rejected and alternative hypothesis is accepted therefore we can say that there is difference of mean score between pretest and post-test of the students which means there is influence of using think-per-share strategy in teaching and learning process